really know who it belongs to, but it's a bone. So, and he says we have to have a bone. It belongs to Sean. Half his bone is missing. <laughs> That's terrible. No, really. So, Not kidding. It got torn up. Listen. So, we need a bone because the little boy says we need a bone. And the name of the story is called Bone Soup. Now, being nothing more than skin and bone, Finnegan had to live with his wits. He had no family or house to haunt, but he was known across the land for having a ravenous appetite. Everyone knew whatever Finnegan went, wherever he went, he always brought his eating stool. I have an eating stool right here. And his eating spoon and his gigantic eating mouth. Finnegan likes to eat. One Halloween, Finnegan's travels took him <coughs> through a barren land. What a lovely place, he thought. I'm sure I can find a Halloween feast here. But as Finnegan grew closer to town, a witch passed by. Happy Hallows Night, he said. Do you know where the feast is? The witch took one look at Finnegan and quickly flew away. Can you guys see the story? Hey, Daniel. Daniel. Back in town, the witch told the beast. The beast told the zombies. The zombies told the mummy. And before they knew it, the entire town was talking about the impending arrival of Finnegan, the eater. Do you think that's a good thing or a bad thing? Yeah. Yeah, you think it's bad? Here comes Finnegan. We don't need a big mouth like that. We have barely enough for ourselves. I heard he's worse than a plague of locusts. Who's Finnegan? This little guy doesn't know who Finnegan is. They're about to tell him, aren't they? In a picnic, in a panic, the witch booby trapped her jar of eyeballs. And the beast locked his bat wings in a cupboard. And the zombies put their frog legs in the cellar. And the mummy and the other town's creatures had all they had to eat. Because they didn't want to share with Finnegan. It's kind of selfish. Poor Finnegan. They must think he's going to eat them out of house and home. What do you think? We might eat them alive. <laughs> when poor, ever hungry Finnegan tame, came into town, he was surprised that it looked completely empty. But even more surprised, there was no feast. So Finnegan knocked on the witch's front door. Could you spare a bit of food? He called out. I have nothing for you, the witch shrieked. Next, Finnegan tried the beast store. Could you spare some wormy cheese and bread for a simple traveler, he asked. A simple traveler, the beast said. I know who you are. I have just enough for myself and none to spare. Be gone. At the third door, Finnegan had barely opened his mouth when the zombies all yelled, Go away! We have no food for you. At the mummy's door, the answer was the same. Poor Finnegan. No food for Finnegan? And so he went through the whole town, knocking on doors and banging on windows. But nobody or soul had a food at all for Finnegan. Undaunted, Finnegan collected the wood from the forest and built a big fire in the middle of the town square. He then filled the town's largest cauldron with water and set it to boil. After waiting a time, Finnegan ceremoniously opened his cloak. He took out a magnificent piece of bone. Ooh, we have a piece of bone. So old that the edges were dry and splintered. And with a toothy grin, he dropped it right into the cauldron. Let's give it a try. Finnegan stirred the mixture, singing, Bone soup is what I make, a magic bone, that's all it takes. Boil it long and add some spice. Bone soup tastes very nice. We're making some bone soup, guys. We're going to give this a shot. One by one, the town's creatures opened their doors and walked toward Finnegan and his fire. What are you boiling? What are you singing about? What a dry old bone. You can't make soup out of, out of that. Any ghoul knows as well. Finnegan smiled. Well, then you must not be a ghoul, for I am making such a soup. The little werewolf crouched at Finnegan's side. I've never heard of bone soup before, but I think I'll like it. In some places I've traveled, bone soup is considered a delicacy. Back up. Back up. I didn't get my bone soup yet. 
Oh, I'm sorry. There you go. Is that better? Can y'all see? I'll, I'll be sure and show it around. I can see it. In some places, it's considered a delicacy, Finnegan explained. Besides, this is no ordinary bone. It's magic. I'm not sure if my bone is magic, but it could be. He tasted the broth again inside. If only there were some stewed eyeballs. With eyeballs, the soup would be very tasty. I have some eyeballs. I said eyeballs to our soup, guys. All right. All right. It's so nice. Let's see if it tastes good. Yeah. I'm going to mix it up. tugged at Finnegan's cloak. The witch has, has jars of those. I know she does. All the villagers stared at the witch, and her face turned an even brighter shade of green. Why, um, yes, I do. But, but they're imported. You won't like them. The villagers stared at the witch.